I hate California. I want to go to the East Coast. I want to go where culture is, like, like how New in the York, world did I raise such a or at least snob. Connecticut or New Hampshire, well, where writers live in the get woods. Get into those schools anyway. Mom. Mark. The mother-daughter relationship is the central love story. I don't know a single woman who doesn't have the most complicated, crazy, beautiful relationship with their mother. I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? Greta was really available for questions that we had about her life specifically, but only in a sense, because it's all, you know, it's not her really in the movie. The film, in a way, was inspired by events from my own life. None of it actually happened, but it's all true. You live in the neighborhood? No, I'm from the wrong side of the tracks. But I tend to start with things from my own life, and then pretty quickly they spin out into their own orbit. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah. There's a certain privilege and luxury in working with directors who act. There was such a specific tonality to what Greta wanted, a comedic realism that serves realism first and comedy second. That I hadn't seen her do anything like that before. I just wanted it to be special. Why? You're going to have so much on special sex in your life. Ah! Greta's got a really good appreciation for every aspect of the filmmaking process. All the inspiration starts from the actors, so like, I, I want to give them the space to play. In a big ensemble movie, you don't have a ton of time, real, like real estate-wise, with every person, so every scene needs to be impactful. You like, can't do anything unless you're the center of attention, can you? Yeah, well, you know your mom's tits, they're fake, totally fake. She made one bad decision at 19. Two bad decisions. For me, the most rewarding thing was watching the actors say the words I'd written, watching the actors bring these people to life. If you're tired, we can sit down. I'm not tired. You were dragging your feet. You are so infuriating. Please stop yelling. I'm not yelling. Oh, it's um, perfect. Do you love it? She was just really wonderful at encouraging us to really incorporate who we were personally into the characters. You have a performative streak. This won't mess with my scholarship, will it? You'd never know that it was her first solo directing job. I love to work with people who are all about the work, and yet she knows when to drop all that and be playful and creative, joke around with crew and cast on the set. Collapse like a little closer. <laughs> Come over and collapse a little bit closer. Collapse that way. Go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow search. Lucas, get up. Follow her. OK. Go! Oh. <laughs> now go get him! And Lukey, come over to her! Come collapse! <laughs> and kiss her! There's one scene where Greta let the camera roll and just made the experience into something that was more three-dimensional than how it was written. I am still in the middle of learning a lot about directing and I just couldn't believe that these wildly talented people were dedicating their gifts to this movie. I felt very at home. The whole thing was like a trial by fire, but it was honestly the best time I've ever had. And cut. Great.